Despite the fact that oil is now as cheap as it's been for many years at around 10 US dollars per barrel, we don't see much evidence of that at the petrol pumps. So this car is an interesting alternative. Citroen have introduced a bi-fuel car to its Zara and Xantia range and this is the Xantia 1.8 bi-fuel. Petrol and LPG, liquid propane gas, and you can switch between the two at just the press of a button. We're driving in petrol mode at the moment, and if I press this, it takes just five seconds to switch between the two. But if you're driving, you have no experience of it switching at all. It's totally seamless. Using LPG as a fuel is certainly environmentally friendly, cleaner emissions, and it's just half the cost of petrol. But then again, what's the point if there are so few places to fill up with LPG in this country? Let's ask Julian Layton from Citroen. The important thing is that we are, at the moment, looking into the possibility of bringing in an LPG vehicle. And you're quite right, there are so few places today. But the momentum is really growing fast. I know a lot of the fuel companies got a major programme to increase the number of LPG sites and we believe that once the infrastructure has grown then you know, we've got an ideal proposition to introduce to the UK market here. Now Citroen is the only company that makes LPG cars from scratch, isn't that right? We were the first um, and in fact um, with uh, certain markets in mainland Europe um, producing, uh, selling a lot of, of LPG vehicles, in particular Italy and Holland, um, there has been a good market already on, on mainland Europe. And uh, yes, we've had the Xantia LPG vehicle available for nearly two years now, and uh, very successfully so. Technically, what's the trick? How does it switch between petrol and LPG? The petrol engine remains largely unaltered, so you can actually run the vehicle on petrol all of the time. But over and above that, the LPG supply feeds into the engine via an electronic control unit. And it's that control unit that will determine when to switch from petrol, which it always starts on, to LPG and to monitor and control the whole system efficiently. In a way you're ahead of the field aren't you because there are a few places to, to fill up. Um, it, it, you can provide the vehicle but you can't provide the sites to fill up which is a bit of a shame really isn't it? It's chicken and egg situation but uh, I think you know realistically some people have got to break that mould and uh, we're ready, willing and able with Xantia once that uh, that infrastructure starts to grow and I think it's, it's very encouraging seeing the number of, uh, of new stations which are beginning to take LPG. But the important thing, as I mentioned just now, is that with this you're not, uh, you're not constrained to purely LPG, so that if anybody's worried about lack of LPG sites, they can run it as an ordinary petrol vehicle and uh, just as easily.